Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a proper starting position for the magneto on older Tecumseh engines. It's the part that holds the coil, points, and condenser on these older engines. And here's an older engine here on an older snowblower. And this is what I'm talking about here. Now the question that I get from people often is, how should I align the magneto on these engines? The reason they ask me that a lot is because it is adjustable. You can loosen both 7 16 bolts here, and you can turn it back and forth. The simple answer to that question is put it right in the middle. As you can see the space is pretty well even on each side of each bolt and the engine does run in this position. And here's another magneto here you can see that the holes are very adjustable. So if you do take it apart you can take a picture first with your digital camera. You can also make a lining mark here with a chisel or with some paint. And then when you go to put it back together you know exactly where it was before. But if you didn't have any marks whatsoever to line it back up, then just put it in the middle like this. Also another tip is you can set the points at 20 thousandths of an inch. And that is the recommended settings from Tecumseh as you can see on the plate that covers the points. That plate actually goes back on here and the clip holds it down. Also another tip is make sure the magnets are in good condition on your flywheel. As you can see these ones here have been glued back on. If one of them has fallen off or come unglued, your engine will not run properly. And by the way, this is an older Craftsman snowblower. And I believe it was actually made by Noma, which is now Murray. And I do have a video showing how to clean and rebuild the carburetor on this exact engine. What I'm going to do is post the link under today's video so you can go watch it. Hopefully this video will help you out. Make sure to bookmark it for future reference in case you ever have to replace the coil or the points and condenser on your older Tecumseh engine. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and you can see me in my next video. Have a great day.